I'm gonna miss you, dude. We're loaded. You got your chocolate? Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, we haven't been to our house in like six weeks. <laughs> we have been going all over. We went to the Tampa RV show. We went to Disney World. We said we weren't gonna tell our girls we went to Disney World, but... They're not Someone listening. Someone just said it. They're they're not listening. Oh, we're not listening. It's okay. We went to the RV Tampa show because, duh, so many content creators that our RVers are there, so many brands. We got some big plans for the RV park. Now we have a 14 hour drive. Hey. We thought, why don't we, in this video, let's answer some questions. So on Instagram, we posted a link where you can ask any anonymous question. What do people want to hear about? What questions do they have? Whether about us, life, the RV park, juicy questions. So, without further ado, as our friend Zach says, let's get started. <laughs> Kidding, Zach, I'm not. That's your thing. What's the best roadside assistance for an RV, or is any of them good? We personally had AAA when we had our class A, the premium level where they would tow up to four times for free. One time we had to be towed in our class A. <laughs> but that's not even because like anything was wrong with the RV. We just were idiots and got <laughs> stuck in mud. We like parked in mud and they got stuck in mud. Since then, since we've been RVing, I would say good Sam. There's roadside assistance with them. There's bundles you can do. I would say that. How do y'all, <laughs> here we go. This says, how do y'all, you know, in the RV with kids? You just do it in the RV, you know, with kids. <laughs> you put the kids to bed and then you do it. But here's the thing, our kids are little. They still have no clue what's going on. And our rooms are on the opposite sides of the RV. Was that intentional? Yes. And I mean, landing gear, stabilizers, you just do the thing you need to do or you blame the weather. Not hard, not hard. <laughs> Yeah, we have other friends that they blame the washer and dryer or they do it when the laundry's going. And washer and dryer units are in the room, so there's that in their favor. Our RV is a pretty big RV. It's kind of like one of the bigger ones you can get. If we were in like a small travel, travel trailer, we'd probably have to get a little bit more creative. Did you ever give away the international trip from your scavenger hunt? We didn't because as we we're all lined up to do the giveaway, then the pandemic hit, the world shut down. We want it to be fair for every contestant. And now travel countries are opening up. Now we just have to go about it differently. So we're trying to figure that out. It's not forgotten. We think about it all the time. So what we're thinking is maybe that we'll do a giveaway to our RV park with like a full Jackson Hole, Teton, Swan Valley experience, which would be amazing regardless and so we're thinking about shifting gears so that we can basically meet everyone's needs and still have it be an epic experience so comment below if you think that's a great idea it's just honestly really difficult to plan other people's travels with what's going on in the world right now we're open to feedback we want to do it right the intention was to create a unforgettable experience for someone and so we want to do that this one says do you like anyone at the moment does this person know we're married? <laughs> Do you like me though? Mm, most of the time. What about this moment? You're okay right now. Oh, that's good. That's good. If you guys were here yesterday, I'm gonna stop <laughs> talking, but that's good. When are you coming to Utah again? Whoop bam! Nels is coming to Utah tomorrow. I don't know if I am. Oh, never mind. Because we're literally gonna get home, and I have to be in Utah the same night that we get home in order for me to catch the thing I was gonna go to the next morning. How did you all make the jump to travel full time? So to answer this question and then apply to everyone, I think there's three things that you need to answer. Obviously everyone's situation is different, but these three things are pretty universal. Education, if you got kids or you have education, right? Work, because you need to make income to cover the cost of traveling. And medical, because that's the thing. We both finished school. We had no kids when we first started and our girls are not in public school yet. We are open and learning and asking all of our friends who have kids that homeschool um, what that might look like. We also have some friends that do like part-time in school, part-time traveling. So open to there. I think with the pandemic that opened a lot of options, especially for working remotely too. So for work, that's covered. So many jobs out there that work remotely and you don't have to necessarily quit your job to find a new one. You can talk to your current team, employer, manager. I would like to go on this two week trip but I'm gonna work most of the time and I'm gonna try this. We do this as a trial run. And if you get more done than your coworkers while you're away, it becomes easy for them to say, you know what, we can keep doing this. You can also be a content creator and make money that way. And we're happy to help any way that we can there. In fact, we have a Facebook group of like-minded people who are always sharing things that they're learning so that you can travel 
and get paid while doing it. Now the third thing, very important, medical health. Some people have insurance plans that you have to stay in network and you have to be at certain hospitals. And so you don't want to leave, right? Because you don't want to be too far from that. We have a health share that enables us to go to any care, any provider, even internationally. But just getting insurance is not the end goal, right? You're doing that so that you can actually get proper health care. So that's why we like virtual health care programs as well as a go-to source to have in your back pocket and in your front pocket. One company, for example, Zebra Telehealth, is a platform that you can remotely schedule an appointment with a doctor to do a virtual appointment. Video chats, sending pictures, answering questions, they can prescribe you and give you proper guidance just as if you were in an appointment. The only difference is it's virtual versus being there physically. Think of the convenience of that. You can be traveling anywhere, AV or Indy, if they get a weird rash or symptoms that we're not aware of or if something's going on with us, right then we can schedule a virtual appointment and you don't have to drive to a hospital, sit in the waiting room, amongst other people that are also coughing or having conditions, you can just schedule this virtual appointment. It works well. In fact, they're today's sponsor. We did go to an urgent care one time and it was like 250 bucks for just the visit to then get referred a prescription. Zebra Telehealth, it's 99 bucks for an appointment and it's much quicker and done on your phone and at your convenience. Even if you're not traveling, highly recommend that you check them out because it saves time. This can work for the busy parent who doesn't have time. You just want to schedule an appointment right then and get referred, you can schedule an appointment at your convenience and in your own home. Or if you're a self-employed entrepreneur and you don't have insurance, you don't need it with Zebra Telehealth as well. So if this seems like it applies to you, go ahead and check out the link in the description. That way they know you came from us. It doesn't cost you any extra as well to check it out. Oh shoot. Uh oh, uh oh. Uh -oh. That thing is on fire. Yeah, uh oh, it's not good. Should I tell them? Yeah, just say there was smoke. Yeah, smoke coming out. There was smoke. Oh, okay. What did he say? He's taking it into the shop. I know you idiot. Yeah, basically the guy called me a moron because he knows what's going on. I don't know anything. No, he was thankful. Next question. Do you guys miss traveling constantly? Does that mean RV or airplanes or I guess all of it, right? Our life used to just be purely travel. Travel, travel, travel. It was awesome. It was really great. We haven't done any like international flights for a long time, just RV stuff, but I think I think it's time. For the summer season, we're gonna be at the RV park, just living it up, partying with everyone who comes out there. Then in the off season again, we're already talking about what are some international trips we wanna do. We might, we might do one international trip before the season starts. I think we should, before the chaos comes yeah. upon our lives of this summer. Okay, this question. Any more kids? Answer on three. One, two, three. Yes. You didn't answer. <laughs> I think so. Our life has just been chaotic. So we pushed it and we pushed it and we pushed it. And if we're gonna do it, it's gonna be probably just one more. So, to be determined, this question, what's the business advice you could give someone? That is a great question, but it's very general. Business advice, experience, trumps, reading about it. What business is most interesting to you? Find someone who's killing it in that space, go and work for them for free until they want you to be around for good so they can't let you leave and so they'll pay you. I've got a, I've got a thought. I'm reading a book called The Way of the Warrior. Oh. And it was saying that people who are overconfident, like you think of these people like, oh, they can do anything because they're just, they got it all, they're so confident. They actually fear taking risks because they're so confident they don't like failure. So if you're hesitant, that's okay because you're more willing to take risks and you can't succeed unless you take risks. So if you're wanting to do a business, there will be failures automatically. <laughs> yeah. So have faith that it'll work out and just know like it's all part of the process and if you're a little nervous doing it it's totally totally okay Nelly should just answer everything from now on that was really good thanks it's because the book you gave me actually the book <laughs> I took from you <laughs> yeah. so thank you guys for submitting those questions um, there are more coming in we just figured we'll close up this video for now we want to do better at creating a community on here and connecting with you guys it's now the weekend so go and get out